Barry again. Um, this is my second vlog and thank you very much if you were part of watching my first vlog. My epic 30 minute vlog that you quite fortunately, I suppose, had to endure. I hope you enjoyed as well. Now I am travelling in my car at the moment. The camera is fixed um, on the dashboard here and we're travelling to Linlithgow. Now, why am I travelling to Linlithgow? Well, Linlithgow is the old, one of the oldest cities, it's not a city, it's a town, one of the oldest towns in Scotland. It was the birthplace of Mary Queen of Scots, and it's in Lothian, which is in the east of the country. Um, I'm presently just past Bells Hill, so I've got about 50, 60 miles to go. The reason why I'm going there is because on a podcast we do a regular thing with Linlithgow Pride and Passion and I'm planning to go up there in a couple of weeks and actually um, do some audio recordings and some video recordings as well. So my idea is to go up today, since it's a nice day, it's um, Monday the 21st of July, um, it's the Glasgow Fair Monday Bank Holiday, um, so there won't be a bank holiday when in the east because that's near Edinburgh and Linlithgow than it is Glasgow. Um, so I'm going over, since I've got a bit of time to myself, and I'm going to do a bit of a recce for the Linlithgow visit, which will be in a couple of weeks' time. So that's basically what I'm doing. Now, I said in the last blog that um, I would do something about the Cumbernauld Roadshow. Now, I didn't do anything at that time because it was absolutely busy. We were one man down. Um, Joe, hello. Um, hope you enjoyed your holiday in Inverness. I'll see you Thursday. Um, the one man roadshow. Um, well, it wasn't a one-man roadshow, but it felt like it. There was Nancy, who came along. Um, Paul was on the stage comparing, and I was dealing with two cameras. This one, and the other one I mentioned on the other blog. Um, but because there was only me, basically doing everything, um, I didn't get a chance to snatch any shots like I wanted to for the blog. So, just to give a quick recap, it was a very successful day, it was a very successful afternoon. We started about 12 o'clock, finished about 3. We had three bands. We had Steph from the Scarlets. Hello Steph, thanks for coming. We had Sam and his guys from the Bluffers. Thank you very much guys for playing. We had Ian, who played rather interesting bagpipes. I'll see if I can find the YouTube link and if I can, I'll put the link to one of the videos below. Right now. Hopefully. If I don't, sorry. I didn't manage to find the link. Oh, thanks, mate. I was just trying to indicate over there, and this guy has let me through. Um, so that's part of my story there. We also had the Killside Starlets. Now, if you've been onto the podcast channel's YouTube, which I gave the link for last time, I'll give it again. It should be underneath you right now. Um, that has a um, filming from last the last road show, which was in May. Cumbernauld, which is their dance routine there. I've done it a bit, I've done it again um, with a couple of other shots with two cameras this time, not just the one camera, so it should look a lot better. It should look a hell of a lot better when you see it this time round. This week's actually quite a quiet week for me. I've not got much going on until Saturday with the Commander Road Show. I'm just plodding away doing normal podcast stuff, but next week I, um, I've got three days out um, planned. First one, I'm going to Paisley, and uh, I'm going to an unplugged session at a bar called Reds, which is by, um, which is under, which is above the Paisley Arts Centre in Paisley, and they do once a week an unplugged session. So I'm hoping to go there. Um, hope I can bring some some of the guys along to help me with that. Um, then on the Thursday night, um, I have got a Doctor Who meeting. Yes, I know. I'm not doing recordings because we used to do recordings on the Thursday night, so we're doing a double recording this week on the Thursday for the podcast. Um, but I've got to Doctor Who meeting. It's for the convention next year, Army of Guests, um, which is held every year in Glasgow. Um, venue is to be announced this year. Um, they've not got guests yet, but they have a couple in the pipeline. I'm not going to say who because um, I don't know. I wish you did. Funny feeling is one there will be one returning guest from a couple of years ago. That's that's the rumour. Um, but whether it's true or not, I don't know. Um, so I am one of the investors. Um, I've put myself up to put a bit of money towards investing for the actual promotional marketing material to cover for the actual 
initial stages of the of the performance of the of the convention. And if the convention makes a profit, which I don't think it would be any problem with that, I get my investment back. So it's a win-win. And I get all the perks as well of getting free access and free autographs and everything else. And that's quite good. You get access to the dinners with the, the stars and everything, which I've done the past couple of years and I want to do it again. I think that's absolutely brilliant. A great idea. A fantastic idea. And then on the Friday, the 1st of August, um, I've got to get up early because I've got to go to the Coast Observatory. Well, not got to, I want to go to the Coast Observatory because if you don't know, there is a total eclipse of the sun happening that day. Not over the UK, it's happening over Mongolia, um, China, Siberia, that area. Um, and we're going to get a partial eclipse where about a third of the sun's actually going to be... Um, yeah, a third of the sun's actually going to be um, covered. So that's going to be quite interesting to see and hopefully I'm going to get a couple of guys along to help out with that as well to do that as a recording for the podcast um, for Paisley. Um, so that's basically my busy week next week. So this week's a bit of a calm, a bit of a lull and it really starts tomorrow now because obviously I'm off today. Um, I should have been working today but we decided maybe, you know, to take a few days off, take an extra day off and just enjoy it. So I'm travelling on the M8 just now, um, just past Eurocentral on the way to Lithgow. Um, the route should take me no more than an hour and get a few shots in Lithgow, leave about nine, five um, and get back to um, put this in for edit. And hopefully we'll have something that you can look at. But hopefully I'll be able to give you a couple of clips of the Lithgow. If I don't, my apologies, but I should be able to give you something just to let you, just to prove to you that I did arrive. So hopefully, the next time I speak to you, which will be in the next five seconds, um, I will have something to say hello to. Well, here I am. I'm in Linlithgow. The sun's facing me, so that's probably why I'm squinty a little bit. But if you look to my left, you will see Linlithgow Palace, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It's a ruin now, but it was the birthplace of Mary, Queen of Scots. And in front of me is the lock. Lovely. So I've been here, done a bit of wrecking. Um, I think I've got enough to actually keep me going and I think it'll be a very enjoyable trip when I come back over. Well, that's me for my blog for this time. Hopefully next time I'll be in another sunny location for you to enjoy. <laughs> Maybe not, but this is Scotland after all. All right, I'll sign off now. Speak to you later.